UFC London going down for real, y'all. I'm, I'm so excited to talk about it, man. Without further ado, let's get into this thing right after this. Curtis Blades going against Tom Aspinall. That's in the main event. Before we get to that main event, let's kick this thing off with the main card, which is Vulcan Ostermeyer versus Paul Craig. I'm really excited about this matchup. I think this is a really good fight, man. Vulcan, who has almost went to that mountaintop, had a title fight after he lost it. Paul Craig, he's had his hit and misses. He's coming. I still think he has a lot of talent. This is a good matchup. To me, I'm going to go with Paul Craig getting the job done. I think Paul Craig is going to go in and just really put it to Vulcan. And I just don't think Vulcan is going to have anything to answer Paul Craig. So I expect Paul Craig to go in and get the job done in this fight. I'm excited to see it. If you disagree with me saying Paul Craig is going to get the job done, make sure you leave a comment. Let me know. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. But I don't think I will be. Speaking of not getting things wrong, on this card, Meatball Molly, man. Molly McCain is going against Hannah Golden. Hannah I don't see any gold in your future, man. Because you're going against Molly. I just think something in the atmosphere for Molly, she's doing a thing. And I'm on the Molly hop, hype train, man. I think she's going to go in and get the job done. She's going to continue this climb she has as this up-and-comer potential superstar for the UFC. She's going to get a couple more victories. And after these next couple fights with her, I expect her to really like just blow up and just I think the, her star potential is limitless. Shout out to Keith Lee. I think she's going to be great things, man. Contender for titles. Speaking of somebody who, by titles, Gus, man. Alexander Gustafson or how uh, Dana might call it, Gustafson is coming back, man. Nikita Koloff. He's fighting him. And this is a really interesting fight. Things hadn't really been going away for Gus and he and when he came back. The thing about Gus to me, the biggest moment Gus ever had in the UFC was actually I lost to John Jones. And to me I don't and then he had a chance against DC. He just couldn't get the job done. And then he had another fight with Jones and got beat down. He never reached the potential that everybody thought that he could. He tried heavyweight, tried things. It just never worked out. And you know what? It still ain't going to work out for him, man. He's going to go against Nikita. Nikita going to get the job done. Shout out to the Lions. She's going to, he's going to get the job done, man. And Nikita's going to. Beat him down. I mean, back in the day, in football, he'd be on the bus. If he, he after a big victory, I'll be singing the songs or whatever. Beat him down to the floor. That's what's going to happen to Gus, unfortunately. He's going to get beat down to the floor. Beat down to the floor. It's going to happen, man. Gus just... Gus, is probably time for you to hang it up for real, man, and not come back. Sometimes when you play with this retirement thing, it just don't end up working out good for you. Somebody who doesn't need to retire anytime soon, you need to watch his weight. Other than that, what I said about Molly, her um, star is going up crazy. This is the same thing with Patty Pamplet. Reach for the stars, young man. Reach for the stars. Patty Pamplet versus Jordan Levitt. The best thing about his opponent, Levitt, is his name is Jordan. Shout outs to Michael. But it's not going to be enough, man. Patty is going to go in and get the job done. And he's going to do his thing. It's just the continuation of greatness that Patty can potentially have. Now, once he gets to 
the upper echelon of talent, it's going to be a little tough for, for Patty. But right now, we on a hype train. Speaking of hype trains, Chris Curtis versus Jack Hermanson. Jack Hermanson is a tough fight. He is a tough fight for anybody. And part of me wants to go with Chris Curtis in this fight. Shout out to him for taking the fight, you know, and everything. But he's young, but I just don't, I think the experience of a Manson is going to be too much for him to handle. And I expect her Manson to get the job done. It would be great if Curtis can get the job done if he pulled an upset. But, man, her Manson is going to be too much for him. Now, it's time for the main event. Curtis Blades versus Tom Aspinall. Tom Aspinall is that guy. To me, even though I know they've done the rumors about John Jones and Stipe potentially fighting for the interim uh, heavyweight championship, but none, nothing has been finalized at all as, you know, Francis and Gono is, is going to be out for the rest of the year. If Tom Aspinall defeats Curtis Blades, Tom Aspinall next fight will be for a UFC championship. So he has a lot on the line. He's in London. It's going down for real. I'm excited to see it. The only problem is he's going against Curtis Razor Blades. Who's showing everybody he got them hands. Try jeans, not me. Curtis Blades got them hands. He's gonna knock out Tom Aspinall. Yes, I'm calling it. Curtis Blades is gonna use the wrestling to set up himself getting a knockout of Tom Aspinall. And you know, you'd be like, why would Blades get into a boxing match with Aspinall? I mean, that's Aspinall's bread and butter, his hands. Curtis Blades is going to be like, man, because he knows he wants a title fight and he knows to you how the UFC don't really like the wrestlers like that. With the grinding out, he's like, man, I'm going to put these hands to him. I'm going to knock this dude out in his town, in his area. I'm going to get myself, I'm going to sneak on in. I'm going to creep, yeah, and get me a title shot. This is the best way for him to do it. He's going to do it. All right, guys. This was UFC London 2. Blades versus Aspinall preview. Let me know what y'all think about the card. If you like it, you dislike it. Let me know in the comments, man. With that being said, i see you later, man. Until we meet again.